Hello everybody and welcome to session 10 of our program evaluation class. This week we're going to be covering one of my favorite types of quasi-experiments, which is regression discontinuity. Um, and it's my favorite mostly because it's probably the most intuitive, it's the most graphical type of quasi-experiment. Um, for me, it's easier to understand and grasp the intuition behind it than um, difference in differences, or especially instrumental variables, which we'll cover in the next session. Um, regression discontinuity is just like intuitive and fun, and um, all of the, the different papers and studies that we'll see are fairly convincing. Um, and it's easy to convince audiences of, of the research that you're doing. So let's go ahead and go to the slides and see what we're going to be covering today. Um, so... This is part one of the regression discontinuity section. Um, if you notice in the schedule, we're not covering part two in the next session. Um, and that is because in order to understand part two of regression discontinuity, um, we have to understand how instrumental variables works. And so we'll cover that in the next session. And then after we understand that, we can move on to the second part of regression discontinuity where we do fuzzy regression discontinuity, which you need instrumental variables for. So we'll get back to this um, after this session. So today we're mostly talking about the intuition behind regression discontinuity. And then in the example page, you'll have a whole bunch of R code um, walking walking you through all of the different steps that you have to follow to actually do this type of analysis. Um, so in the slides, what we're going to be covering today um, is this idea of arbitrary cutoffs and how that helps us with causal inference and with quasi-experiments. Um, then we'll talk about drawing lines. Um, so again, throughout the semester, we've been talking about this whole y equals mx plus b um, formula or formulas like y equals beta 0 plus beta 1 x1, other things like that. We're going back to kind of the math behind these lines um, because it's crucial for regression discontinuity. The whole way we find causal effects is by drawing lines and then finding gaps where the lines um, kind of cross a certain threshold. Um, so after we talk about that, we'll talk about some of the main concerns behind regression discontinuity, um, and that's basically what we're covering today. Um, you'll see often RDD stands for Regression Discontinuity Design. Um, you'll also see it abbreviated as just Regression Discontinuity or RD. They're both the same thing, so don't worry about it if you see two different ways. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> 